Anastasia Palaszczuk has launched her bid for re-election, calling for nominees in seats impossible to win. An election is at least a year away, but the Premier says the campaign starts now. It looked like an election campaign and it sounded like one too. I saw the Prime Minister Malcolm Turnbull on TV this week. I thought I was watching a comedy channel. Bill Shorten poking fun at the Prime Minister's discovery tour of Outback Queensland. Stay in Sydney, try and calm down Tony Abbott, or come to Queensland and hang out with Barnaby Joyce. <laughs> and the Premier going zinger for zinger. I had to laugh when Tim Nichols became the LNP leader and announced his new shadow cabinet. Who was the IR spokesperson? <laughs> that great champion of the workers. The union whisperer, Jared Blay. <laughs> Unions took pride of place, but Labor's state conference on the Gold Coast was notable for who wasn't there. Transport Minister Sterling Hinchliffe stayed in Brisbane tending to the trains crisis, so no one remembered last weekend when he went to a car race instead. We know they want to get rid of Sterling Hinchliffe, but Anastasia Palaszczuk is not strong enough a leader to do that. The last time the Premier was here, she just won an election. The next time, she'll be due to fight another. And that campaign started today. I need a majority government to do more for this great state of ours. To do far more. Announcing legislation, but no detail, on a Queensland Bill of Rights and calling for nominees in the seemingly unwinnable seats on the Gold Coast. All we need now is an election date. Thank you. Shane Doherty, Nine News.